Water always finds a level, and Locke simply used this characteristic to allow canals to be built over uneven landscapes. Occasional locks overcome gentle rises in level. A group of locks is called a flight, and a staircase, or riser, helps to overcome very steep gradients. A lock is basically a big box with gates at each end between high and low levels of waterway. Gates can only open to let boats in or out when the water levels are equal on both sides of the gates. The flow of water is controlled by various paddles. These paddles, operated by a windlass, are like sliding doors and allow water to run into or out of the lock. At Stoke Bruin there are paddles controlling the side culverts, called ground paddles, and also on the gates themselves. The ground paddle should always be open first to prevent water entering the boat. The culvert is a pipe in the upper part of the lock through which water runs when the higher level ground paddle is opened. Let's see what happens when a boat uses the lock. First of all, a boat entering the canal at the high canal level. The boat enters the lock and the upper gates are closed. The lower level puddles are then opened to allow water to run out of the lock to the lower level. As the water leaves the lock, the boat lowers. When the level of the water in the lock is the same as the lower part of the canal, the lower gates can be opened and the boat can leave. Let's see what happens when a boat wishes to move from the lower to higher level. The boat enters the lock and the lower gates and paddles are closed. Now the upper paddles are open to allow water from the higher level to fill the lock. As the lock fills, the boat rises. When the levels of the water on either side of the lock gates are the same, they can be opened and the boat can leave the lock.